Hello and hi guys. Uh, I hope you are all well. Uh, today this will be a very short video. Just presenting me something. So what I'm going to do, uh, show you is like uh, I set up and set up a carbon server. Let me show you the server. So this is the server. Server. Okay. Okay, as you can see, the server certificate is not installed in the server. But it's, it's a fresh installed server, so the certificate is not installed right now. But the whole video is about the SSL certificate. Plus, let's assume you have multiple domains posted in the same server so if you either try to install the SSL certificate from the UI or the, or the command line interface you have to do all the tasks manually so the whole video about this so as you can see right now we only have one domain let me open my CLI the CLI Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to use a script yeah also yeah uh trust yeah also domain. Let's make something. Let me make it a little bigger. Auto domain dot sage. Search. By the way, don't worry about all the contents of this script. I will share it in the in the forum. So do check out the forum. Write in the forum, and uh, I will share there. So yeah. This script will help me to create some script, sorry, some domains in my server. So let's execute this. Uh, enter domain name to create. Done. Enter the domain name to create. Okay. Uh, so for that. Okay, so it says, Would you like to enter domain names manually? Or if I say file, then if I file domain names in this line, then it will take input from the file and fill the domain. But I don't have that file right now, so I will go manually. Okay, and that's the domain name to create for that. That domain is the domain name that I'm going to use. Okay. 
Oke. So, these are the domains that are all I have right now. So, I will write done to finish. Oh. Turbo. Domain. So let C. This is the default domain and all these domains. Trace this case. You see all the other domains. See all the other domains. So now, if I click here, you can see all the domains. Now, the challenging part is I need to install and configure LexMP certificate for all the domains, but we need to manually from either the graphical interface or the CLI interface. It's, it's kind of time consuming and hectic. And let's assume you have a larger environment, larger, you are maintaining a data center and managing lots of domains in your infrastructure. So, but how you are going to do that? So you are going to take that particular thing here. So for that, uh, let me copy it and see. So it's just naming this with random. Nothing. It's not that important. What I name it again? I will. Oh, sorry, I can't save it here. Save it. Yeah. Okay. 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 So now I have this script. So let's execute. Okay, by the way, meanwhile, if I go to Name dot uh using one of the domain like uh old server dot is it old server dot is it can see we're getting the security warning as we don't have access certificate both for the virtual dot is it domain and the old server dot is it so now we have our script. So what we are going to do is sorry. Okay. Save H P bash save okay. and just I don't have to do anything, it will automatically automatically uh modify the server configuration because there are few configuration related tasks involved in this process like uh, setting the remote proxy mail mode and setting the virtual proxy mode by the way meanwhile the process continues let me tell you there are two kinds of SSL certificate deployment one is domain level SSL certificate and another is infrastructure level SSL certificate so, what is domain level SSL certificate that we set for a domain? To do that, we need to set the virtual hosting, and you can see virtual hosting are set 
and what is infrastructure level certificate for that you don't need to configure the virtual host name and the difference is sometimes the external email client like mobile app and different external clients like thunderbird they do not recognize the latency SSL certificate while the latency is deployed on domain level but they recognize the latency SSL certificate when it is deployed as an infrastructure certificate so um, i couldn't test further i don't have any concrete information right now with me but we will check uh, so to get all the information we just uh, write our write in our forum and let us know what we think and you can see that requesting certificate for digital project it is done now it is simulating for latest server registration so we forgot to set the timer i hope it's maybe two or three minutes so so let's see try it and successful and Let's send the certificate. Uh, it's also done. Certificate option for domain. Let's send the certificate. Now, doing other things. Saving. Okay. Option. Okay. For. Okay. Now this is working for this one and and after completing all of this stuff, we will start the proxy so that uh, the configuration takes effect. So that's all we have to do. Maybe three to four minutes have passed. So far, our speed is running flawlessly. Yeah. So as as I'm saying that as I'm requesting you to subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the latest updates. You can share your thoughts. We can put all these thoughts into and share the thoughts into the forum so that uh, all the developers who are developing run currently the Carbonio can look into them, take into take into account. Because if you discuss this in any private channel or any other channels, then uh, then it will be very difficult for them to understand what your expectations are, uh, what uh, what you are thinking, what you would like to have, and so on. So, so I would request you again and again to use the forum, submit your feedback in the forum, and utilize it to share knowledge and to gain knowledge so that's all i can say right now and i hope uh, this video so far the video is uh, good for you and enjoyable it's a very short video and share the scripts in the forum later so you can take a look and by the way i'm encouraging you to create this kind of script there there is a dedicated section in the forum with me on the forum okay let's go here there is a dedicated dedicated section and you can see there's there's a script you can just simply write your 
uh, whatever you're playing with, whatever you script you are working with, because that's how we can make this from this. So all the tasks are done, and it shows us uh, some warning that for auto renewal we need to execute this command as group. So let me do from here to execute this. If I try to take the status, run subject query daily, so it's done. It's completely done. Let check the status of uh, if I refresh it. This one. Let's see the old server secure. Yeah. Okay. This one. Okay. So this was. Dot visit C secure edit is August. The server is not I don't know it is because we have set the redirection. That's the direction. So the latest server got it done. Server dot sample server. So keep in mind all of these let's encrypt certificates were deployed in domain level. If you need to deploy it in infrastructure level, that's a different approach. We have article on this, and we are we are, we are trying to uh, create another article based on this. So. Maybe it will be helpful for you as well. See that the servers. No, I didn't mean that the servers. See, worry about it. So this one. Okay. No. One is also valid in dot. So it is also valid. And one thing that we can do search for certificates. See, ah, you can see. Certificate for Jetstar, Sample Server, and many other, and all the other domains. So, so that's it. This is the point of this video is to let you know how uh, useful it can be in your daily life. Though we do not tell let's encrypt or certificate in daily means, but it can be useful when you are migrating. Lots of domains from Zimbra open source to Carbonium, then you need to install the special certificate. Or you are deploying a new server where you have uh, you have quite a few domains and you need to do the details. So in that way, you can do the details. So with that note, I'm not going to take any more of your time. I hope you all and I wish you all good health. Please stay safe. Keep in the shade, take lots of waters, and stay blessed. Stay happy with your family. So, with that note, take care. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in the little another video sometime. So, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much.